Where you going, my brown-eyed son? You used to crawl, but now you run You started off on a road half dark And the river curled into a question mark We sleep on diamond beaches, dear And drink from prison streams so clear You don't have to be rich to get around There are mansions growing out of the ground Days go by Get out and see the world Days go by Seven forty two AM. We saw sunrise this morning walking through this little town. And today we Oh, that's just great. Oh. And this is the outside of the Residencial Unieo, where I just showed you where we're staying. We're right on the main road that leads down to the beautiful square, and you can see the church there, an amazing church. And so. It's a wonderful place. In Tomar. Tomar is the capital of the former Knights Templar Kingdom. This is um, where uh, it's called the Corpus Christi Convent is located. We're going to go there later. And um, it's where the Order of the Templar Knights were headquartered, uh, right nearby there. This is the first inn that we've stayed in. Previously, most of the places we stayed were um, hotels. Oh! Uh, and that is our innkeeper. Hola, senor. Hola. Actually, lean on like here. You can see this is the outside wall. Yeah, so this is like the big outside wall that goes all around uh, the castle. Then the second wall, uh, part of it, it's this one. So that wall there. That's the first wall of the castle, so the inner wall, which inside has that tower that you're seeing, which is the defense tower of the castle. And so, like, a difficulty that we have in here while visiting the, cons the, the castle and the convent, there's been multiple shows in here, like, regarding the Knights Templar. Uh, we can go to this place, or to those places where they were and where they supposedly found things. Um, but here there's not much of a debate like regarding whether the Knights Templar were here or not or something. So I would say that the only or the most interesting thing is trying to find this problem. Give you a part of the beginning. 
the one that we scored and we ran away to. And so that part that you're seeing to, the, uh, to that side, it's from 1160. Wow. Yeah, so that's uh, all the decorations that you are seeing were added later. But in 1160, what we would have is that in this octagonal building, uh, imagine this, this opening. Uh, taking a tour today of the different locations associated with the appearance of Mary to the children here nearby Fatima, the three shepherd children and uh, this is um, I believe the village in which they um, lived so we'll see what this is all about Two rooms, one over there and one here. We can start with this room actually. Are you aware of the story? I'm just curious a little bit. Not me. Oh. Nothing? Do you know you know the story? She was 97 years old when she passed. She died in the year 2005. So she did live a very long life. Hiding See these look like steps they've yeah. been added, but all the others are original and there are more up there. You can also almost imagine them jumping around and playing here, having fun. Uh, even children nowadays when they come out here, you see them. It's scary because a lot of these rocks are polished. Crazy girl. take it out just sweet little country lane an orchard with uh, lemon trees and orange trees and you see the sign for the Camino de Fatima so folks walking to Fatima whom later in May converging around May 5th 13th will be walking that direction the opposite direction that Lori and I are walking we're walking this way and it's just a tiny little hamlet woodland path here is absolutely beautiful really wonderful and uh, now we're coming out of it onto a little country lane and these weren't so bad either pretty quiet not a lot of cars there you go look at uh there's Lori. look at this here you got the camino going one way fatima going the other way
Hi, Lori. Hey. Refreshments right here. Uh, little dedicated shop. Actually, it's not a shop. It's a, a, a memorial. This looks to be for Fatima. I see the shepherd children. and different uh, this different supplies so that is all for free just for a donation and then uh, there's another little statue for Fatima Lori went into this chapel earlier uh, oh my god look how sweet that is let's see oh yeah that's incredible and there's a nice templar so he covers all the bases here just uh I think it's Luzos. It's near Melhaida. We uh, walk to Melhaida, but sometimes you wind up staying a little distance from where you walk to, and, and they provided a uh, wonderful transportation car driver who took us here and uh, check this out you can see what it looks like and there's Lori but look at this huh and again Portugal known for its tiled streets uh, they're just amazing really amazing Di Salilo, I think. Bon dia. Bon dia. It looks like a band supporting uh, Fatima workers. I'm not sure. It could be uh, Fatima walkers. Hola, bon dia. Bon camino. Bon dia. <laughs> so just as a point of reference Earlier on, way back when, as we left Lisbon, you know, we walked through some 
pretty dilapidated little villages and uh, after we got past Tomar, you know, we saw some smaller villages, but we've seen many more sort of well-to-do little towns and villages like this. Just when you think you've had your last hill, <laughs> you find another one. <coughs> so, which is about uh, uh, mile 13.